back in the doldrums. I crossed the equator 5.30 this morning and uh, had the breeze, the southeast trade winds or east easterlies as they were for most of the day and then in the last three hours the breeze has just slowly slowly dropped down and gone forwards and now it's uh, 45 degrees so it's northeasterly. I'm just sneaking on and sneaking on and sneaking on and just trying to keep Medallia going. Not the best of directions for me but um, the swell is coming in from the northeast and I've got my fingers really really firmly crossed that I might have just crossed straight through into the northeast trade. I'm actually quite enjoying the it being cool because it's so overcast. I've got quite a lot of stuff done today. It was my most productive day in like five days because it's so much easier in the in the cool for me. And what I didn't realise actually was on the way back this way, because the sun's in the south, there is no shade in that cockpit. None at all. You see this squall that went behind me here? I just, just now I, I can hear thunder rumbling off it. Hopefully that'll all stay behind me. I don't fancy a thunderstorm tonight. That really, don't fancy that at all. But fingers crossed, this breeze will carry on building. And then we're gonna romp away up the Atlantic. Well, it's uh, just gone four in the morning and I can exclusively reveal for all wannabe offshore and ocean racing sailors that um, crossing your fingers isn't necessarily the most successful tactic to getting through the doldrums. <laughs> I haven't stopped. That's a good thing. I haven't always been going in the right direction though either. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Ah, patience. Patience is what is required. Okay, it's a quarter to six now. Big bright moon. And we're moving. We are shifting. There's the instruments there. Currently doing 344, 8.2 knots. Even got a bit of a wake out of the back. Could this be it? I am eternally hopeful. I'm going to say yes.